Hey guys. Okay, so turns out that some of the stuff on my computer has been disappeared. Awesomeness. Um, and now I'm left with this quandary. Okay. Um, so catch you up. I think this might be gone. I can't quite tell because uh, I've been doing these things twice. But I did this. Brush some of this off. Um, I came back and I added, I just used the paint and just did a pour and just let it sit. And uh, I, I got I to gotta say, I kind of, I kind of like that. So part of me is thinking that this is too much texture down the middle and that I want something that is more matte or not necessarily more matte, but not quite so much texture, especially because I'm really wanting to highlight the horns and the level of detail and the kind of the mosaic effect in the horns. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and they've, they've already dejuiced. All right. Um, so, to serve that end, I'm going to potentially destroy something that I have done in order. Oh, wait. Ah! Okay, I'm splashing. Splish splashing. In order to kind of improve what I'm seeing. So part of that means that I'm going to use these colors and some additional water. And I'm going to do a little bit of eradication of some of this texture and more along the lines of what the background is so that while the color is different, it will have the similar texture to the background so that the horns will be what stands out. Okay, even though the color is different, like I actually kind of like the what happened in the, the ears. Um, slightly different take, not quite what I had in mind. So what I want to do is I want to get a color, I want to add it. I use my palette knife to move it around because I know some of this color will come up. Wait, my, my scoop doesn't want to scoop. And I'll be able to get um, some of the color variation that I'm looking for because I'm using these. And then I have the um, concentrated colors here off to the side. I'm going to add a little bit more color. What? A little bit more water. Not a little bit more color. A little bit more water. So I can kind of move this around. This one's juicy. Okay. All right. And I think this will get this particular, I think this will get this updated so that it's more along the lines and more in keeping with what I'm really wanting to see um, out of this, where this is really fading into the background but where this is a bit more of the um because I really do want the horns to stand out so we're going to give that one a, we're going to give that a whirl we're going to see how that's going to rock and I'm going to bring in just a hint of some of this, like even though I was eradicating it before, I'm going to bring in a hint of it. It's still hiding under here. I'm going to bring in just a hint of that so that I can now start tying those things together. Um, and really get too, too much. I think I used you. All right. So... Let's give this a shot because it is a completely different direction. So welcome to the world of painting where you try one thing eh, and then so then you opt for something else. So I'm going to pull in some of 
that pink that I've been trying to eradicate this whole time. I'm going to bring some of that in down here, but specifically down here because I'm wanting to tie it in to what's up above. And I'm going to add just a beep and a little bit there. I'm going to get that. I'm going to let that kind of blend in up in here. And I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to use the palette knife to move that. And because there's not enough kind of liquid going on up there, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to add some of the orange down here. And remember, I'm going to have to be careful about how much water I'm putting because this is just going to sit here and dry. I am not add a little bit of this over here somewhat so I can move that pink around and add a little bit of consistency because I did not use this color earlier when I did so I'm going to bring this up to here get that far around all right and then I'm going to bring in this lighter color which I already know. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to start to use my palette knife to come around. And notice what happens when I do that. Some of those lines are going to start to kind of be pulled out. They're going to fade. And I'm totally okay connecting with that right there. Oh, and I have my handy, uh, I'm going to pull this down. Okay, I'm going to clean my palette knife because I don't want that pink all the way up here. Notice I know I've got some that's gone rogue over there. It's all right. Because again, remember, I want this to blend down in here. Wipe my palette knight off so I can pull. I also want to deal with the fact that some of this went a little bit outside my lines over here because I've got a lot of water on here. Okay, so since I added quite a bit of water, it's going to want to try to to go outside the lines. That's all right. So I'm going to pull this. Notice how I'm getting some of the color that was down here before and we're going to we're going to move it around a little bit. I'm going to pick up some of this. I'm going to move it. Because what I want to do is I want to get this really rich kind of burnt. I'm gonna burnt orange over here. So what I'm doing is I'm swirling this around. It is still not where I want it to be. So I'm gonna come grab my paintbrush that I know is gonna be will help me pull up some of that paint. See how rich that's going to become. And get into that because I want that really rich color. 
And I'm going to be able to come in here with this paintbrush and pick some of this up and get it moved in where I want it. Okay, and I want some of this to come up here. Set that down. All right. So again, I'm going to want to pull. I'm going to want to move that color around. I'm also going to want to pick some of that up and bring it down here. Um, shake. Um. I see some of this amber yellow. Okay, it's a little bit more that amber yellow. It's got that orangish red in it, which is really quite nice. Bring that around. So this tangerine down here. Move that tangerine into there. A little tangerine into here. One thing that I see missing is some of my nice yellow that I got really nice into the ears. And I don't really want to lose that. I want that to still be have some of that nice bright yellow. And so adding that in is going to just enhance that, kind of cement that color in. Moving that there so that'll get moved around. Picking some of that up. The same thing here. We're going to just come in here and move that around. So I'm going to use my palette knife. I'm going to dig up some of those, some of those lines. I'm okay if I can see, you know, if I've got some of those lines still there, which is just fine. But we're going to make sure that I get this really nice. Rich color. Wipe off my bra, my palette knife that I'm using. Here it is. So I don't know if you can see. So I'm wanting to lighten and give some depth of color because some of it is starting to blend and not necessarily blend in a way that I'm 100% happy with. Like I love what's happening right here, but it's gotten really dark down there and then it's like all the color seems to be settling. So I've got some. Obviously my table's not level and neither is my... Uh, my canvas, which is fine to a certain extent, but come on now. Gotta have something working. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. 
So here's what we're going to do. We're going to let this dry. And then we'll see what happens because as the water is going to evaporate, the pigment is going to stay behind. Now, I know right now on the screen, this looks like Sweet Marcy. It looks like I have just ruined this now that I look at the screen. It's bright red. Okay, a lot of this because it's wet. And this is, <laughs> it's funny. I'm like, oh, I thought the color was going to capture better. Um, it might be my lighting. So let's see if I, if the color will switch. Nope. All right. So this really is kind of like a burnt orange in, in color um, with a, the yellow where you can see kind of this kind of yellow ochre color. Coming down here, it's now, it's very darker, but it's turning into that, it's kind of like that more red. I'm picking up some of the color from the horns with also some yellow. And so what I'm getting is some of the line work is still coming through, but then some of it is now going to fade and kind of dissipate. Um, I don't want to take a paper towel and try to soak up some of the extra water because all that's going to do is lift what's underneath. This really is going to have to sit and just wait for it to dry. Um, and because I can see like where there's a ridge line here from where the paint is holding it. But as you can see, like right here, yeah, that dam broke right there. And so paint has bled out over there. And I've got some paint bleed here, 100% fixable. But if I try to sop that up, all of this is just going to come over here. And I don't want to deal with that. All right, folks, we're going to see how this is going to take a look. Um, so I'll be back in just a second once this is dry. Ah, or maybe not. And my computer, okay, wow. Y'all, I wish I could see what happened. My computer just did. It's stupid. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, well, you can see there's good news and then there's bad news. Um, the good news is that's actually not so bad. I can come in with a colored pencil and lighten and do some of these things. The bad news is, oh my God, what in the Hades? Um, so I can see an outline of my mouse pad over here where I had one of the water, um, liquid watercolors. Yeah, uh -huh, that bottle was right there. And whoa, so I have some repair work to do. So I'm going to do my best to try to lift some of that up. That's awesome. Not so much, but is what it is. Um, however, I do like the fact that this is a little bit more toned down. Um, I can, I brought in some of that red from up there. I like that. I like the way the ears ended up up here. Um, but I have, yeah, so... There's no time like the present. Y'all, I have to actually clean my mouse pad. What in the world? So I've got water and I have a paper towel. So the nice thing about watercolor is that you can clean it with a paper towel. So like, look y'all for real, like here's my mouse pad. Like it is now like, it, I don't know if you could see like how it, stained the whole thing. I may have to just buy a new one because it's now sticky. Ugh. And I think that's where I'm going to have to go because it's now soaked. Like it is soaked in there. It's fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just kind of lift some because it looks like that might be really good and set in there. But this one... I've got a lot of color right here. I mean, I can feel the ridge of the color. So I can just kind of come in here. I'm going to have to lift. It's kind of press and lift, press and lift, press and lift. Um, Y'all, this image has been in my head, but I'm now starting to feel like, you know, this is some sort of like joke because I'm trying to do something that I don't normally do. And now I'm going to have to go back over in these areas with some green to get my green back because obviously it's not green anymore. It's kind of red. It's got this red orange tinge to it. Not so awesome. Um, I feel like this painting is turning into the bane of my existence. Um, 
a little bit because I'm dying because the blue is turning out fantastic over here. Yeah, why aren't there any new videos posted? Gee, I don't know. Let's see because my paintings are sucking right now and they don't want to work. Can you tell them I woke up a little grumpy? Sorry, guys. But now, this is, I guess, one of the nice things about videotaping this is that, guys, this is just, it happens. So any artist, whoever paints, you end up sometimes with, oh my God, and that whole trust the process piece comes to mind, and I'm like, yeah, trust the process my butt right now. Yo, this is not trusting the process. This is me. So it's my own fault, just so you know, just so I can make that perfectly clear. It's my own fault. I left something that was heavy. Oh, that was brilliant. I just stuck my hand into it and it's wet paint. Mm, brilliant. Um, I stuck something heavy right here. So it added weight. So it would cause the water to drain away. Well, whose fault is that? Mine. Mine. Mine, me, myself, and I. So I got nobody to blame over here but myself on this one. So there's that. Which, you know, also kind of takes me off a little bit. And I can see I've got a ridge of paint. And I'm just going to come in here and just use my palette knife. Guys, can you see that? Look here. Yeah, can you see all that? That's just sitting on the top. Just piled up. And it just dried right there. That's part of what's given me that ridge line. Which, on the one hand, looks really cool, but on the other hand, is not so funny. So I want to get that off. So I'm going to pull that off wherever I see it. So I can do a little bit of corrective action as I work my way around. I'm going to lift that off. Oh, good. That's okay. That's kind of cool. not so sweet however the case may be all right uh, er, er. Uh, where's my good where's a good brush all right oh all right it's bubbly here we go all right so I remember last time, one of the things that I did is I went around and I tried to make sure that I'm right along here, that I get a nice definition for my ear. Well, yeah. So I want to move some of this color around so that I'm getting just that. I'm getting a nice definition of my ear and not some sort of weirdness that's occurring. So it means moving some color around because I've got quite a bit of pigment built up, okay, around this ear. Like it's like almost like pasty like, which is, you know, a watercolor art is not the best thing in the world. But I want this separation here that that is connected, right? So I'm going to work on one thing at a time. I have to do this on the table. So that means I can't move my next piece. Ugh over that I've been working on that I have now ready for the new for that new Grange entrance stone piece y'all it looks good I'm excited to get that one started maybe it'll feel like I've redeemed myself from this one all right so from this one over to here because it really is the bottom edge that seems to be giving me the biggest trouble here so I'm going to get some liquid up in here and really 
I want to define that edge because some of it's darker in places along this edge than I want it to be and it's lighter where I don't want it to be. Again, I want that nicely defined edge right there. Come, come in here, get that cemented. All right, so that'll help there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm really having to squeeze. Water does not want to come out of this brush. All right, so let me clean this brush really quickly. Okay, well, this is kind of a pain. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little irritated. Mostly with myself because I know better. So I can get this kind of wet. And I want my paper towels and just lift. Lift up some of that orange. I'm gonna have to come back with some greens. I'm gonna have to pull my greens back out, which I have put away, which is, you know, delightful and get them back out so I can pull this over and kind of address this. So now my background, which I had just spot on, is now going to have to be adjusted because I'm going to have to come back here, come back along here with the green, a little bit in here, not so crazy about. And I need to come in with some colored pencils and even with a little bit of... Um, Frankly, just coming in with some paint and getting some of these lights because this needs to have some of the orange, like really orange in here. And that seems to have gotten a little lost as it pooled because you can see it just started pulling color straight down which you know again it's my own fault I'm a little irritated about it though this may not have to be happy about it but i do like the way this is looking but i'm going to add this wash because i do want to enhance that orange so i'm just going to come over and add this wash of color over the top Oh my gosh. Oh, this paintbrush does not want to. This is one of my fatter, you know, water already loaded paintbrushes. Um, you know, let's add a little bit more water. Ah. Okay. I got attacked by my watercolor. No surprise there usually, but geez. All right, just so that I can get this wash, put this on. You know what I'm gonna do? Hey, hey Kathleen, isn't that not okay? Yeah, isn't that what you got in trouble in first in the first place? Yes, can't help it. It's a habit. I pour my watercolors. <laughs> yes, I'm okay that it's gonna then. Beep, 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 beep. I want that to blend, but I also want this color. I want this just this wash of this nice orange over the top to brighten it because it was getting it's getting dark. All right, mm, I'm gonna have to pull up my big gun. This is what I'm doing, it's just this wash. <laughs> Y'all. Okay, this is my nice Skyflow brush. And it just absorbs water and paint like a charm. And we're gonna just slowly move that over. 
and around, and I'm going to bring it all the way down. Bring that color all the way down and around. So it's going to help brighten this up a little bit. Not to mention there's this weird little line right here that I would like to eradicate. So by doing this, I can make that line go away. All right. Okay, so there's the start of some damage control. And I really wish you could see. I don't know if I brought this down closer, whether or not you could, oh, well, hello. See, like, the actual color. No, it's still showing up as bloody bright red. Okay. Usually the color on this camera is pretty decent, but um, for whatever reason, okay, hold on. For whatever reason, it does not want to accurately capture this orange. All right, so there's some um, eh, damage control action. I'll let this dry. I'll see y'all in a second. Oh, maybe I don't even show this video. Ugh. All right, see y'all back in a second. Okay, guys, so I can live with this. That last layer of orange really helped kind of brighten this up. So everything else I need to do, I can actually really work on with using colored pencils, the watercolor crayons, and then coming back in with a um, watercolor um, palette. But I now need to fix the green because I can do all of that with the painting upright. The next thing that I need to do on the um, Newgrange entrance stone needs to be done flat. So I need to get this done so I can transfer over. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add water to the colors that I was using when I created the background. And I'm going to use these. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got this on like serious like... It's like coming back and spraying me in the face. Let's see if I can make an adjustment. There we go. That's better. I'm like, whoa, boy, this is coming back on me. Um, I'm going to need to make some a couple of adjustments because I need to come in and make sure that the green goes to where I need it to be green and stay away from where I've got the orange and the the red. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of going backwards a little bit, but you know, sometimes two steps forward, two steps back. That's fine. Um, I'm going to get this up on the, when I get this up on my easel, I really hope when I look at this, I'm going to like the horns and the head and the ears together because I'm questioning that at the moment. All right, so I need to let these really get kind of get kind of juicy. So they kind of soak here for a little bit. Of, some of them are always kind of, that was a little too, you're a little, it says it's green, but that's a little, that's kind of blue. Um, I might end up using that one. It's a little too blue for me. And that Copic. So this is cascade green, but I don't know if you can see that this has like a blue ring. So this is a green that has like a definite blue tinge to it. So I kind of just set that one off to the side because I do not want to deal with that. All right. So I've got some that I need to come back in here with so I can get my edge back. And I'm going to come in here. Now this is a lighter green that I have to deal with. So I'm going to kind of put these up here at the top. So one of the nice things about working with a nice big canvas, especially the way that I paint, I can kind of set my paints on my canvas. Um, like this one, this one's going to be perfect down in here. This is another really good one for right here. And so are these. So these are going to be kind of really good ones for me to use to kind of pour and I'm going to do this with pouring and I'm going to then use my palette knife to kind of move things around. Um, so what I'm doing is, guys, if you'll remember, is that I'll just kind of swirl this around so that I can make sure that I can get my paint in. And it's going to make an adjustment. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be real happy. Like I'll, at some point, so one of the nice things about if it's a piece of paper and I'm not really satisfied, you know, the piece of paper, okay, whatever, I can give it up. This is canvas. This is a 
much heftier investment of my time and resources and I really like the way the background was working out so I'm really kind of um, bummed this head is driving me crazy um, I'm okay with it now mostly but now I'm not sure how well the the horns go with it so I may have to make the horns more orange so this may be more UT than I had intended in the first place <laughs> which would be kind of funny um, because what I had in my mind was this really bright kind of yellow and orange and multicolored, but all these cool, you know, all these kind of warm colors. And yeah, so not so much. Um, so here we go. We're going to just go ahead and get started because it's all predominantly over here on this side. So I'm going to bring that around. I'm going to put a little bit here. And... I do have some work to do on this side, so I'm going to make sure that I kind of navigate this one just a little bit. And I'm going to pour out here because I don't want this to be right on top, right? Because of the way that this likes to move itself around, I've got to be mindful of that. So I'm going to get some of this. I'm going to pour that in. A little bit of that over here. A little bit over here. That's still not quite as juicy as I would like. So I'm okay starting with just a couple of colors and we're gonna have to kind of layer some of this stuff in, right? Um, Let it kind of do its. Let it kind of just let it do its thing. Okay, so there's something weird. There's some orange or something right there. Okay, and then same thing here. I'm gonna kind of come into this, and we're gonna just slide this right on up. And I'm gonna what? I'm gonna bring it down and around. Right? You want to share the love. You don't want it to just all stay in one spot. If you do, then it looks like your image is not unified, right? So we're going to kind of make sure that this kind of makes its way and gets spread because I want it to pull where I want it to pull some of that color out, right? I want it to lay over that red. Now see how this is starting to pull some of that color out from my um, from here. So I'm not crazy about that. So I'm going to actually come in here and I'm going to soak that up. Because what is happening is that it's pulling the color from alongside this edge and it's it's picking that up. So I'm going to worry about that later. I'm going to get some of this green. I'm going to get it just a little bit closer there, and I'm going to leave that. I can take care of that with a, um, a palette, right? It's okay if it's not right on top. Because, um, again, my palette, when I come back in, I can paint that in. But this larger area I'm going to need to do, I need a little bit more work on. Okay, and I need to bring in some of this green because see how this is this is going to blend it in with what's around its surroundings because that is right i've got this dark section but i need it to blend in with that green that olive is not the only thing that's over here right so i'm going to bring it around pull it Right, because I want it to be, I want it to be able to blend. I don't want it to just to be this mud puddle stuck off to the side here. Okay, because once I can blend it, I can get rid of some of these other colors that have come in. Ah, not juicy enough here. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we're going to put 
put a little of that down there. So it is kind of juicy. Let's see. Got a little bit of that one still in there? Yeah, I do. Okay. It's kind of that olive. This is kind of that olive green, right, that I'm using, but it needs to kind of come in and blend a little bit with there and then I just noticed that some of it dropped right on top. I'm just going to pick that right up. Thank goodness for paper towels. Right? And notice how it's done this again. Like it's come right up against the edge even though I haven't um, asked it to. Same thing is happening, starting to happen over here. This I can live with. Okay guys, this little bit right here I can live with because I can pull that. As long as it doesn't continue to pull like the color I'll be all right. So I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm going to kind of pull some of this. And I'm going to pick up some of the color that I can and get it to blend and move, right? with that. I get a little bit of this phthalo green up in here. All right, I want a little bit of this phthalo green. So this is a really nice bright color. And that's going to pull some of that I'm going to pull some of that out. And I'm going to do something that I didn't do with it before. Assuming I can find where I've hidden it because I moved stuff. You know, sometimes the downside to having you organize everything and then you unorganized everything because I moved it. I cleaned my space. I have a little spritzer that has rubbing alcohol in it. It's a great way to get a little bit of texture in. Used to be right next to my studio table. Used to be like right there. And now I've clearly moved it and hidden it from, ah! Y'all, it ended up on the floor. Like for real, what is that about? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that texture and I'm going to kind of pull it in over here on this side as well. Now we'll see whether or not how much of it sticks and stays because it'll go away. But um, we'll, we'll see. I am going to, however, grab a paper towel and see if I can't soak up some of that. It just, it makes me too nervous. Not after what happened. I don't want all of that to be just like connected to this red. All right, I think if it'll dry and where I have it, as long as it stays, I'll be all right. Um, yeah, so, all right, as an artist, I think I mentioned this before, sometimes you have to deal with things that don't go right, just like in life. Sometimes you have a plan, doesn't go the way you want it, and then you spend some time fixing it. So as an artist, 
just like in life, I will spend some time fixing this, but it will come to a point to when I just have to be like, all right, start over. Yay! Doesn't feel very good. I don't really like to do it. Nobody does. However, sometimes it is the right thing to do because then you're going to get the result that you want. All right. So um, I am going to leave this, let this dry. We're going to close out this recording. And then hopefully when you come back, this will be good enough for me to actually then move and I can actually start working on that New Grange entrance stone. But y'all, for real, it looks really good. Um, my, for whatever reason, my camera stopped, wouldn't work, and I, I could not um, show you me transferring the design from an actual image of New the New Grange entrance stone. But I'm super stoked. It's, it looks good. Very excited. So um, I will see you in the next video, guys. Y'all have a good one. Maybe I'll see you in the next video if I can stop this one. Hello? There it is. All right, y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.